But you might be wondering, why are solar flares and CMEs more common now? What's special about the solar maximum? The answer lies in the sun's magnetic field. During solar maximum, the sun's magnetic field lines become twisted and tangled. This creates more sunspots, which are areas of intense magnetic activity and increases the likelihood of solar flares and CMEs. It's like winding up a rubber band. Eventually, it snaps, releasing energy. According to NASA, the magnetic field flips completely, with the north and south poles swapping places. But what happens after solar maximum? Does the sun just go quiet again? Yes, after reaching its peak, solar activity gradually declines over the next few years, eventually reaching a solar minimum. Sunspots become less frequent, and major flares and CMEs are less common. However, even during solar minimum, the sun can still produce significant events, so it's important to maintain ongoing monitoring. So here's where we stand. A powerful flare just erupted. The sunspot responsible is now rotating toward Earth, and we're in the most active part of the sun cycle. What starts with radio blackouts could end with global auroras, or worse, tech chaos.